I just I just recorded a sea lion challenge game, which I won, but my it was only because my opponent resigned after 20 moves, and so I'm totally not counting that as a win. Uh oh no. He's already taken that corner. This is bad. This is really bad. Alright, let's come over here first. Uh yeah, so the sea lion challenge that I'm attempting, again, really, I'll say officially for the second time, officially, officially, because again, the last game didn't count because, I don't know, my, my opponent just had to go, is I'm not allowed to play any stones on the sea line, which reminds me, you guys can't see which line is the sea line, but it's right there. And so I'm learning that's actually much more difficult than I anticipate. <laughs> Very good. Let's extend all the way. Uh, it is It is a challenge, for sure. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's play here. Uh, so my basic strategy uh, for my first attempt, which resulted in the loss, is I really didn't get a good enough uh, wall here. I ended up in a fight, and I tried to fall back, but you can't fall back when you don't, you can't play in the third line. Like you just can't really do it. So that was kind of my undoing. Play this one. I think we play this one. So again, I'm going to try the same thing where I just build a wall on the fourth line and hopefully induce my opponent into playing second and third line over here. And if we can do that, I think we can win. I think we can beat the C-line challenge. But we'll see. I'm already starting kind of a complicated fight here in the lower left. Uh, okay, that's fine. Okay. And I'm just preserving this cut here. You should defend this cut somehow. Okay. Oh, does that actually defend? Sort of. Hmm. Hmm. Let's play. Let's ask. Let's find out. Uh, he will. He can live small in the corner. This doesn't kill anything. I'm just separating here to keep up some fighting potential. And actually, because these three stones are short on liberties, um, he has a nice Hane here. And I should also remember fighting is hard because he can actually lean on this group after that whole sequence. So well, it's a little bit desperate. It feels desperate. I feel like I'm not playing my best go when I play these challenge games. Like my play is altered a little bit too much. I'm a little bit too preoccupied. That's who I am. I tend to obsess in all the wrong things. I think you should just block, right? Block, cut, honey, block, threaten to connect. Maybe. Maybe it's too dangerous for him. Uh, to play this way. Oh, it's dangerous for me, too. I'm going to have, a, I'm gonna have a, especially if I run this group out, this one stone. I'm really going to have three weak groups, and he's going to have two at the end of this. Yep. So this is asking for a lot. Okay. This is going to be the death of me. Can I just come attack this first? Not really. All right, let's set this whole gravy train into motion. Oh, he can—he actually doesn't have to play this yet either. He should probably just do something to lean or just capture the stone. Capturing the stone is actually okay for me because um, I'll still have the Aji be able to get this out, be able to just fight with one weak group. That's okay. Okay, he's going to play this way, yep, and connect, Actually, he doesn't even have to connect, he can just leave that, okay, interesting, alright, I think we try to get out here first, let's just get out, this is going to make him a lot stronger, he's going to end up with an eye, but we will be in a better position as well. Like, it's kind of a win-win for everyone. 
so it will be fine. Can I just play here? Or should I play this one first? This, this move is stupid, right? But it feels right. <laughs> it moves a little bit that, like... I don't think I absolutely need to play this, but... Especially since I'm still hoping to attack these two stones, I really don't want to define his shape. Hmm... Alright, but so far we're doing great. You know why? Because we haven't played a stone on the sea line. We haven't had to resign. Can I play faster? See, also, this this is the other move I want to keep in my back pocket. I obviously don't want to play it until this group is kind of a little bit more settled. Um, if I make a bigger jump here, it doesn't really benefit me. So I'll play solid. I'll probably play here, I'm guessing. Or drop out. Oh, he's going to play that way. Okay. So we can take this stuff. And to double Hane. Double Hane seems a little bit risky, but I want it. You all should always want to double Hane. It's like there's no other move, right? Probably either going to tar and pull back or just pull back. It's the expected result here. I don't really expect him to fight. Because I have this Atarian jump. Which kind of makes him very busy. This move is really big. Ooh, okay. Okay. Well, we'll take that. Mm. <laughs> this is just brutal, right? This this is so busy. Like, oh my god, we extend here. Uh, can he Atari and jump down? Not well. But he kind of can. One, two, three, four. I really don't have that many liberties. Six liberties. It might, it might be even worth just giving up. Let's throw the game into chaos, people. Let's do it. Oh, he's not going to do it that way. He's going to do it this way. Okay, so my group's totally safe. He's got to fix two things. Of course, when he fixes this one... That's how he's fixing this one? Is that even a good idea? <laughs> I mean... That seems really questionable, right? <laughs> Like, okay, he thinks he's fixing it this way. That's great. Let's just get the group out. Uh, certainly, I can p take an eye on Sente now. But we'll continue playing here. If he just ends up making two eyes here and I surround him, such a win for white. But the, then I have a problem. I need to play here and I need to play here. Like, both are huge. Probably this is the bigger one. This is still huge. Wow. Oh, this is, uh, this is alive. Yeah. Hmm. Neat. Okay. So, we'll just make this all safe. I really don't need that yet. He's debating whether or not to play this one first, I think. Seems reasonable. It's also a big move over here, too, but not as big as this. This is big, becoming the biggest move on the board very quickly. Uh, I don't even let him cut, right? I just take this. Let's just take it. All right. So this is a win for white. Like, this is epic win. We are pretty happy, okay? That's fine. He's got a little mini stick. 
It has to run. Run, little stick, run. I too can run. <laughs> hmm. I'm just going to jump here in the assumption that I'm going to shoulder hit this and play this fourth line, get my fourth line wall that I've always wanted. My hopes and dreams are totally coming true. This is big though. Oh, do, 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 do. Let's drink tea. Time to drink tea. I need to pose with my tea. Hmm. That seems like a pretty interesting peep. What if I counter peep? <laughs> then what happens? Then <laughs> <And> all the danger. <laughs> all the danger. Just all of it. Oh, man. I didn't want to answer questions. My opponent is asking me questions again. I think we got to do it, just, you know, spirit of the game. Okay. Let's see if he falls for this. <laughs> he's not going to fall for this. This move is going to look so dumb because he's not going to follow up there, and I can't play there to, as my follow-up. So I'm pretty sad. <laughs> Tragedy. Pushing up here is pretty good. Uh, I should just take this though, right? Like, it's mine. Seems good. Totally good. Free eye. Uh, in terms of territory, I mean, no one has anything. Black, oh, he responded on the second line. That is like, that's amazing. That's, that's better than all my hopes and dreams come true. <laughs> Okay, Ooh, that makes this Sente too. Uh, so that's cool. All right, do we push up here? Feels like we should respond again on this side, but I think we're okay. Maybe I should respond again. This is kind of a weak response. Um, he gets a lot of momentum here. But, you know, capturing the stone was also pretty big. Is he poking at this? How dare you? You don't get to poke at this. I don't even think I should... Do I have to... Do I even need to respond? Uh, I mean, kind of. If I want to stay connected. I have this push here, which actually threatens a cut that also defends. All right, well, that's fine. All right, fifth line could be a problem, but it's also lots of fun. It's the most fun we'll have. See, I'm also running very dangerously close to the third line. Like I'm running on the fourth line, so I can't ever really run that way. So I'm very scared. Uh, much more frightened than in a normal game. I don't know if he pokes that, I don't really care. So he's defending that way. Can I just play here, please? <laughs> Ugh, I'll play solid. This isn't even solid, right? This is slightly less than solid. <laughs> what? Oh, he's taking that now. Yeah, that's good. Huge move. Huge move. I don't really know if I can continue this attack. Here, let's just take a corner. Yep. Military. I have two eyes, and he has two eyes. We have the saddest looking two eyed groups in the universe. Uh, I think I can just play there. Mm. Play that one. Mm. 
threatens the cut, but at what cost? All right, we'll just block. Blocking is fine. We'll take a little bit of corner. This is remaining a pretty close game. He does have a target. And I have, a, I have, I have this group can still be targetable. Um, because I can't, I can't really connect here. <laughs> oh, he's really coming after this. All right. Let's see. Really going to lean on my corner. All right. I really need to fight for the top, right? Because I can't take the left. Mm -hmm. All right, a couple of variations here. There's the peep variation that looks certainly like Seki. So... This is Tanuki. Leave it for end game. Right, you can't net that because I can always capture that. So this this cut does work nominally. <laughs> um but this is capturing two stones. Alright, good. So very good. We're doing we're building the wall. We're doing the thing we didn't quite do last game. <laughs> my first attempt at this challenge. Should Tanuki here. Very good. Oh man. It's a it's a question of points. I don't have it. I don't have I, I have to attack this. I have a wall now I can attack this. Totally fine. Right? Right? You can't do anything? Nah. I'm sure you can't. All right, if I attack this, I win the game, right? In terms of end game, like over here, over here, these are both pretty big moves. Actually, I guess cutting is big too. I mean, he's got to be careful here. Uh, this is Cuttable? Looks challenging. Here, let's attack on a large scale first. <laughs> Normally I could respond to that differently. <laughs> so far, we haven't played a little stone on the sea line. Sea line challenge, still winning. Overtime countdown has begun. All right, from he's in Bioyomi. I succeeded in getting my fourth line wall almost all the way across the board. He just got that opening 4-3 stone there. That was the only thing that was preventing me from it. Although I actually could have just attached it 4-4. Four, four. Instead of uh, doing high approach, should have done the new way. Didn't need to do the old way. All right, let's go. Hmm? Oh, yeah, that prevents this. Mm, I see. Also gives him a little bit of uh, potential here to cut through. So we'll fix our shape. Everybody fixed. I guess if everybody fixes, that benefits him. All right, because he's under more duress than I am. I still have that cut. Hmm. Don't really. 
really have to force anything. I'm building a second wall. Not as solid as the first. He's just looking for eyes. He's just, he's just, this is just, you know, getting a dragon to live. Take away all this right, right immediately. Uh, yeah, no problem. Two overtimes left. No eyes there. Good luck. Um, Looks like you can make one there. Nine, and here eight, is his trickier. Seven, six, five, he four, does have a peep, three, and then this. Two. Okay. This is my intuitive shape move. <laughs> Let's play it. Mm. All right, I'm going to just look ahead here and Nine, assume eight, that there's a way to live and he can find it, six, which I'm not actually sure five, that it's true. Four, three, I'm actually skeptical two, that it's true. <laughs> one, zero. But I want to know what I can do over here. Oh, oh, that's how he's going to do it. Hmm. But I have this. Mm -hmm. You can. All right, here the downside is cut, cut, Atari, push. It's it doesn't Overtime look like it goes anywhere. I mean, he, fi he finds cuts to work with. They're just not obvious what to do, and he still has this problem too. He still kind of needs to fix this over here. Although actually with this stone, if I'm, if I am really committed to saving this, he gets a cut too. So I can't actually defend the second, this cut, this wedge. Oh, he's, but that's not the way to do it. Right? I don't think. <laughs> oh, he's just trying to make sure this stone is connected so he can do some sort of push cutting up here. I guess. Uh huh. I think just connecting is great. This is the normal move, but I don't really want to give him any momentum. Um, so let's do that. Does that make an eye? <laughs> Does any of this make an eye? <laughs> Too bad I can't play on the third line. <laughs> hmm. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Do I take away the eye here? I just do, right? Or should I push in here first and uh, let's just focus on what we're doing. I should probably 
poke this down to one eye. I still have a chance here. Oh, he resigned. We did it! We did it! The sea line challenge has been defeated. Granted, only the three-down level. Maybe we have to try it at the four-down level. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, we did it. That only took two tries. All right. I have to, have to take a deep breath and drink some celebratory tea. Whew. Let's see what he can do. Uh, at this point, actually, probably not much. Like, it, like, even in here, let's say, let's say I Tanuki. <laughs> oh, Tanuki, oh, yeah, yeah, I Tanuki, you can make two eyes, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe, actually, maybe not. All right, so let's say I clean that up. And he plays there. And then I play like this. He doesn't have anything. Yeah, this is miserable. Um, yeah, he needs, he does need a move in here. All right, to get an eye. And actually, even then, um, is it falsified? I think it's actually a false eye. Yeah, it's a false eye because of this cut that I left that I was careful not to play. This diagonal actually makes it hard. So, yeah, he's he's actually, like, really toast. I was I was giving him way too much credit, that, or that group way too much credit, <laughs> credit for um, having better potential. So, let's see. Yeah, I don't, there wasn't, um, I mean, the C line didn't really come up very much, but that was by design, right? We intentionally avoided it by just playing all the fourth line moves, so our strategy was sound. And then here, you know, I, I start sort of this fight a little, throw caution to the wind. Like here, I don't, I don't, I think that's a bad move. Like, I think that's too early. I think I should be playing something else on the outside here. Um, first, or over here, maybe just jumping up. Like, like this. You know, if he, if he defends here, get out. Again, just, just save this for later. Don't short myself liberties, because I am hurting my side group a lot. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm just going sort of all out, because it technically is a sandbagging game. <laughs> And I'm like, if I get in a little bit of trouble, that's okay. <laughs> it's against a weaker opponent. It's not a real problem. Yeah, this there was an interesting option for him here. In quick looking at it now, I don't think it... Whoops. Uh, yeah, he can't really reasonably do this. Just not enough liberties. Uh... Four to five. Looks like white's fine. Yeah, it's pretty unreasonable, actually. So, yeah, my, my, the, my, the, uh, you know, when you read, it's always important to read the most severe thing that you or your opponent can do out first. And sometimes, uh, especially for anyone, but when I don't read those things out to the end, <laughs> you get a little paranoid. Because you're always worried about what's the most severe thing your opponent can do. Uh, don't bother reading, like, just the good shape moves and all those things. No, start your reading with what is the most severe, dangerous, awful, terrible, unfair thing that one of us can do. And in that case, it didn't really work. It didn't really work. <laughs> yeah, after, after he responded here, if he doesn't respond here, I think this is a much more difficult game. Right? Because let's say he does this and makes this kind of shape. Well... If I want this group to be out, there's only really one place for me to run. It's here. Oh, excuse me. Or here. And this stone doesn't look misplaced anymore. Right? It starts to look like he's strong enough to do stuff like this. So, we don't like that. But yeah, he, he played a little bit too passive here. Um, even, even if I could play the third line, right? I think... Um, this feels a little bit like it's it's a move behind, and so this is kind of the beginning of the end. Uh, playing on that second line. Yeah, my move is a little cautious, but it's good shape. Again, maybe the biggest move for me is just to play on this side. It probably is. I think this is me being too nice. By playing there, I think I'm much too nice. 
Because uh, this is similar, except now my this group doesn't really have to worry about it much. I don't have all the same cuts that were once possible. Yeah, and so we played this out. We made a little group over there. Uh, if black pushes in and peeps, uh, we actually can respond this way, I suppose. And... That dies. That's not good. <laughs> That's a dead group. So, yeah, let's not respond that way. <laughs> Instead... Oops. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Go back. Go back. Preview. Say we connect. And black needs these honeys. But this is still life. Yeah, that's better. Here, here. Looks like co, but it's not. It's a whatever you call that. Actually, I actually don't even know that white would just play the outside. Yeah, so white's fine in this case. The other dangerous thing for white to look out for, um, and again, white's not any problems because of how this plays out, but black can play here. But again, this is not a real issue because white has these Ataris and they can live or make shape or do whatever. Um, actually, can probably leave it. I think it's just co it. It's it's a I think it's a like multi step co for black is my guess, and not an easy one. <laughs> is it there? No. Be here. Mm, here. I don't know. It's just uh. It's just uh. A bent, oh, it's bent four. Yeah, so bent, in this case, because if white has outside liberties, the bent four would turn into a co. Um, uh, black would connect. Atari. Oh, no, it's not, no, no, sorry. White has enough outside liberties, so it can't turn into a co. It's actually just a crush. So white's, white seems fine. <laughs> so hard to continue for black. In that corner. Uh, and then this, I was super happy. He invaded 3-3. I got to build my fourth line wall. This stone looks a little bit too close, but with black being thick there too, it's okay. Like, it, like it's useful. Like, it's not in a terrible place. Um, so that was good. Yeah, it was unfortunate that I didn't get to play another move. If I play another move over here, game feels really good for white. Um, and so if, let's say, black takes another move to, I don't know, defend this somehow. And then white plays here. Uh, actually, game doesn't even feel that game. Game is close. Let's put it that way. Like this is still a liability. This whole black group, um, and white doesn't have that many points, but black really doesn't either. Like black's got the left hand side essentially for about let's say forty points, and not much else, right? Maybe five here, five here. So it's like black only has fifty points, uh, and so you know we can we can end game our way through that to victory. So anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed the sea line challenge. We'll be doing another challenge. I think the next one, we're going to do another one of these line challenges where I'm just, I'm just completely cut off from playing stones on a certain line. Uh, I don't... I, I'm tempted... I think the next one I have to try is going to have to be the fourth line. Just can't... You just pick a fourth line and can't plan it. It'll be the D line challenge. And that's more interesting Maybe it's, maybe it's about the same. I don't know what's more interesting. But what is interesting about it is that I can still invade on the third line, right? So I'm essentially playing on two different game boards, right? I have the entire game that's going on over here. And then I'll have this little space where it's possible for me to invade and live. And so the, the strategy kind of flips, where in this case, I want to play along the fourth line and ignore everything over here. Now I want to get my opponent to play on the fourth line and then find a way to invade and live over here. So it's it'll be a little bit of a very different psychology, I think. <laughs> and I'm probably going to screw it up a little bit. So you won't want to miss that. So come back for the next video and we'll, we'll try the D-Line challenge together. Thanks for watching.